crazy this weekend. So the co final college football playoff ranking, the ones I agreed with and J-Mac agreed with and most people I know agreed with. Michigan, Washington, Texas, Alabama. Florida State was unbeaten and got left out. They played the very weak ACC. So you have to start anytime you want to argue about something. What's the base? What's the foundation we start with? The very construct of the college football playoff, and this is important. In fact, it's the most important thing. There's only four spots, and there's five major conferences plus Notre Dame, meaning all of them in any year could go unbeaten and somebody would get left out. Happiness is connected to expectation. If you don't know that going in, the basic foundation and construct, flawed as it is, four spots, five conferences, plus Notre Dame. So yes, it's not the NFL or NBA playoffs. Appearance and style matters a lot. And you looked awful your last two games. We were watching. Awful. Third string quarterback. Colin! That is not fair. Years ago, Ohio State with a backup quarterback. They got in. Mm -hmm, I remember. And I watched. And they won 59 nothing over Wisconsin. And that's what got them in. 59 nothing with a backup. You escaped two weeks ago against awful Florida. And this past week against very, very timid Louisville. Style matters. Basic construct, four spots, five conferences. Unbeaten doesn't mean anything when it comes to a close bout. Now, I shouldn't say that. It means something. But remember, on the NCAA College Football Playoff website, the first line, ranking football teams is an art, not a science. Again, everything is considered. Unbeaten is something, not everything. Colin. It is not our fault that Florida State, our quarterback, got hurt. Who said it was? Again, a straw man argument. It's your reality. It's not your fault. I'm not as handsome as Denzel, Ryan Gosling, or George Clooney. It's not my fault. It's my reality. Things are harder. Don't confuse the two. Colin, unbeaten has to mean something. It does. It does mean something. It means when you're awful, like you are offensively, and you're unbeaten, you will be considered because you're unbeaten. You'll be considered. But if Florida State had one loss, they'd be ranked 13th to 18th. They're unwatchable offensively. In review, styles always matter. It's not your fault, but your reality, you're on a third string quarterback. Unbeaten does mean something, but thank God it doesn't mean everything. Otherwise, people would be terrified to schedule big games. Okay? So the other thing I hear all the time is, boy, do I roll my eyes at this. What do we tell the kids? You're the coach. You're paid $10 million a year. Figure it out. What do we tell the kids? How about this? Don't confuse effort for results. Things will mostly work out in life, but not always. And when they don't, don't throw a tantrum. Understand life is not fair. The most overrated word in our lexicon is deserved. And effort doesn't always equal results. Think about the college football playoff, much like college admissions. You can have a 4.2. You took AP courses. You can have perfect attendance. You can have great references and not get in because the competition is vast and intense and nuanced and many things are considered but I got a 4-2 and I went to all the classes yeah but we're we're looking at your resume your parents are rich and the other kid had to overcome more and we can only let 2200 people in not six seven eight thousand so you don't get in. Throwing a tantrum, the answer? Don't confuse effort with results. 
Lots of people all over America work hard every day and they don't get the results they want every day. There's no guarantees. The basic construct of this whole argument comes down to four playoff spots, five conferences plus Notre Dame. It's always been stylistically, artistically part of the equation. And by the way, if I have to consider everything, and I do, correct me if I'm wrong, but the last, what, 15 years? What's the SEC won? 10, 11 championships? Do I not consider that? I have to consider every. You want me to consider everything? You want me to literally be paralyzed by the unbeaten record? Liberty's unbeaten. You know, I said this to a friend yesterday. You ever go to a wedding? What's the first thing many of us ask? Open bar or not? If it's an open bar, get your drinking shoes on. If it's not, bring your wallet. But you know going in. It's a you problem if you don't and have unrealistic expectations that all those gin and tonics are free. If you go into a college football season thinking, Guaranteed to get in if we win all our games. It should help. It'll matter. But it's not everything. And to me, Michigan, Washington, Texas, Bama, this morning, last night, I was okay with it. I was okay with it. It's not our fault. Don't confuse fault with reality. A third-string quarterback, this team would be a two-touchdown or more underdog. Could they win? Sure. Would they win? Probably not. I want good games. We're going to get good games. Jay Mack with the news. No, 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 no.